So now it's time to really get started with WebDriver and let's create a test that will do something to a website. Now the website I am going to choose, just an example, because it's completely under my control and I know what it is. I'm going to go to compendiumdev.co.uk slash selenium and check that the title starts with selenium simplified. That should be simple enough. Now when you come to do it, you can do this completely exactly as we're going to do it now, or pick your own website, pick a different title, it's up to you. So I'm going to start by renaming this test class. So to rename it, I'll do a refactor, a rename refactor, and I will call this first test. which is renamed the class name, which is fine. We still have JUnit in here. We still have our assertion. Now I'm going to call this test driver is king because in WebDriver, the driver is the king. Everything that we do is going to be based around a driver. So as an example, so in Selenium, the server is the king. The server is the thing that we're sending all our requests to and making everything happen by virtue of having a Selenium server running. When we use WebDriver, everything works by virtue of having an instantiated driver that we can make commands on. So I'm going to instantiate something as a WebDriver. So I'm going to use the WebDriver interface as my main class here because I don't want it to do anything special and I will instantiate that as an HTML unit driver. So WebDriver has a bunch of drivers available to us. We've got the HTML unit driver. The HTML unit driver is a headless driver which means that when we run this test no browser will be displayed. We also have the Firefox driver, the Chrome driver. Firefox drives Firefox, Chrome drives Google Chrome, there's an IE driver, there's an Opera driver, various mobile drivers. We're going to start with HTML unit driver. It's built in, nice and simple. So I have instantiated a driver, then I have to tell the driver to go and get HTTP colon slash slash www compendiumdev.co.uk slash selenium that should go off retrieve that page for us and then I'm just going to check that it is true that the driver dot get the title which returns a string starts with Selenium. Selenium simplified. So that's a fairly simple test. If I run that, I'm just going to right click, run that. Test passed. We didn't see any browser. So how do we know that the test actually passed? Well, let me change this so that that is no longer what the title starts with. The test should fail. Great. Now HTML unit driver is very simple to get started with. It's headless. The tests run very, very quickly. So if you're testing something very, very simple, very basic with HTML, HTML unit driver may be all you need. You don't have the visibility of the actual test running, but if you make sure that your asserts are good enough, that cover the right thing, then you can be satisfied that your test should run fairly reliably and fairly quickly. So that's it. That's all it takes to get a simple test running in WebDriver.